There is nothing as satisfying as Taiwan's quintessential comfort food, slow braised beef noodle soup. So noodle heads rejoice as the first Taiwan franchise Taiwan style beef noodle soup restaurant has opened its doors on Philippine soil at the posh S. My Son Mall at the Conrad Hotel Manila on May 19, 2017. And this story gets even better. They make fresh hand-pulled noodles daily. This noodle shop is called Mazendo by Chef Sean Su and was first opened in Taipei in 2012 and has been franchised to the Philippines by restaurateur John Lu Koa of L'Artisan, Cha Time, and French Baker. They specialize in Taiwan comfort food delights like Taiwan beef noodles with a choice of mala, tomato base, and consomme, as well as fried rice and dumplings. And trust us, this dining experience will redefine your expectations of how Taiwanese comfort food should be. Aside from a spacious and spotless kitchen, this resto also boasts a chiller filled with Taiwan beer, which is a large market beer brewed by the Taiwan Tobacco and Liquor Corporation and is the best-selling beer in Taiwan. Taiwan beer is an amber lager beer with a distinct taste produced by the addition of locally produced Formosa rice during the fermentation process and has won international awards including the International Mond Selection in 1997 and the Brewing Industry International Awards in 2002. We practically devoured every item on the menu over two visits and can highly recommend the mala noodles with beef slices, red roast beef noodles, consomme beef noodles, boiled pork dumplings in spicy sauce, boiled dumplings in sesame sauce, pork and shrimp dumplings, shrimp and egg fried rice, Hainanese chicken rice set, and would like to reiterate the very best Taiwan beef noodle soup and Mapo tofu in town. This has raised the bar for these dishes in our future food adventures. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, we just arrived at Mazendo. This is a Taiwanese restaurant at the S. My Son Mall in the SM Mall of Asia complex. So, I'm so excited because I've been wanting to try this restaurant for quite some time and it's only now that I had the opportunity to, to drop by. And the menu is very simple, there's a few pages, but there's so many dishes that look so good. I ordered probably more food than I can eat with my daughter. Alexandra's chilling right now, but look what we got so far. So I got the mala beef noodle soup, I got the consomme beef noodle soup with their home in-house homemade noodles and then also got the spicy uh, boiled spicy dumplings 
as well as their pan-fried dumplings, which is supposed to be their best seller, and Hainanese chicken set. So let's see how it is. So their signature dish is the mala beef noodle soup. I got this extra spicy. I'm not scared. Mm. It's very flavorful broth. It's very rich with herbs. You can taste the spice, but it's not overpowering. <clears throat> now I feel the spice. It really sticks to your throat. Mm. Very flavorful. Okay, let's look. Got the bean sprouts as well. I'm gonna try a little bit of the noodles now. Mm. Has a very nice bite to it. Good noodles. Mm. I'm really enjoying this bowl of noodle soup. Let's try the beef now. The beef they use is Australian beef. It's a little bit tough, but not too tough. A little bit chewy. Mm. Enjoying. Okay, this time I got the red roast beef noodles. This is a classic Taiwanese beef noodle soup. Uh, it has a tomato base. Let's try the soup first. Mm. That's a very nice rich broth. It's very flavorful, a little bit spicy. You know, hint of tomatoes, but actually it's, it's very herbal, so that would be quite amazing for a hangover. Well, this is with their hand pulled noodles. Mm. Bouncy, good texture. And I'm gonna try their beef. I specifically requested that I didn't want any fatty bits, so look, that is pretty nice brisket right there. Wow. That practically melts in your mouth. This is definitely one of the noodle soup dishes you have to order here. That is one gorgeous bowl of Taiwanese beef ramen. Just spectacular. Mm. Just delightful. After digging in a little bit more and just enjoying the flavors, I can say this is the best Taiwanese beef noodle soup I've ever eaten here in Manila. This is just truly amazing. I will definitely be back for this. The beef consomme noodle soup. So it's a um, clear beef broth. That's very light but quite flavorful as well. And this is served with beef shank. Let's see how this shank is. 
a little bit of ligaments, but those are gorgeous pieces of meat. Oh wow, it's it's practically falling apart with the chopsticks, which is a good sign. Oh wow. That's really gone through a pressure cooker. Very tender. I would order that again. Up next, boiled dumplings and spicy sauce. These are pork dumplings. Mm. It's a generous amount of dumplings. The sauce isn't too, so too uh, salty or spicy. And the wrapper of the dumplings very, very thin, very delicate. The amount of meat inside is just the right amount. Very nice spicy dumplings. Mm. Delectable is the appropriate word. Next, the pan fried pork dumpling, which is served upside down. So, this you have to make your soy sauce, vinegar sauce, and then you have a chili oil in your So, let's dip it in here. Chili. Mm. I would have expected um, overhanging wrapper to be crispier. It's not so crispy. Dumplings a little bit dry. So I'd probably stick to the dumplings and spicy sauce more than these pan fried dumplings. In case you guys haven't noticed, I love dumplings and I want to try all sorts of dumplings. So today I'm going to try their uh, steamed pork and shrimp dumplings. I actually already had a piece earlier but it's good. Uh, the wrapper is very delicate. Look at the content, it's pretty well filled with shrimp and pork. Very flavorful. The shrimp really comes out there, as well as the seasoned pork. Then I also got the boiled pork dumplings in sesame sauce. It's really swimming in that sauce. Mm. The sauce is savory, it's not so sweet, and it's very powerful actually, but not overpowering. So, I like both. In fact, I like all the dumplings here, except for the pan fried one.
How is that shrimp fried rice? Hot. <laughs> Yummy. For my second main course today, I ordered the Mapo Tofu set, which comes with rice and soup. I love that uh, when the Mapo Tofu came, it was still kind of like sizzling in this hot pot. So it looks like a very soft tofu, Japanese tofu. And I like how the uh, Mapo sauce looks, very minced uh, pork. Let's see how it is, how spicy it is. Mm. The tofu literally melts in your mouth um, and the sauce is just so delicious. It's infused with the, the mala spice so it's a little bit spicy but it's bearable. It's just wow I'm just like amazed by this. It's like one of the best mapo tofus I've, I've ever eaten in Manila. Superb. Mm. Wow. Wow. Well, I ordered quite a feast. I couldn't help myself. I had to try their Hainanese chicken. Even though that is a Singaporean dish. Comes with Hainanese rice, soup, lots of different condiments. It's kind of like a dark soy, uh, ginger and oil, and a chili sauce. But their chicken looks quite moist and it's breast, no bones. Let's dip that a little bit in there. Oh wow, that's ultra tender. And that's an excellent version of Hainanese rice, which has been cooked in chicken stock. It's officially one of the best Hainanese chickens I've ever had in Manila. My current favorite is Winam Ki, but this is just awesome. Fabulous. Absolutely delicious. Mm. And I think their soup, I had some earlier, it's very herbally. Mm. That really hits the spot. This is like the cure for the common hangover.
Uma Uma is a ramen house from Fukuoka, Japan, established in 1953 and currently run by the ramen master's son, Masahiko Tashima, who is an actor turned restaurateur. Uma Uma Ramen has been in the business for more than 60 years, starting with a single ramen shop in Fukuoka, Japan, and since expanded to eight outlets across Asia, in Japan, Thailand, Singapore, and recently franchised to the Philippines at the S. Maison Mall in June 2016.